Well, hey there, everyone. So I'm coming to you today from inside of the high pressure cylinder of the Todd engine. This is a 34 inch diameter uh, cylinder with a, a 60 inch stroke. And um, I can fit in here, but there's, there's not a lot of room in here, as you can see. So um, what I just did is I cleaned all the, the loose rust and grime and whatever out of here that was in here. Now I'm going to put a coat of the rust converter on just to prevent any further corrosion until we get around to the part of the restoration where we go and clean the cylinder bore out and evaluate it for you know for the steam restoration of the engine. Um, so that's that's basically what's going on. But I thought you'd like to see what the, what the inside uh, of the cylinder looks like. Now let's switch around here. I'll show you a couple things. Um, oh, we got a bunch of shadows here, but so right there is the uh, the steam and exhaust ports. So these two ports on top are for the inlet steam, and the two ports down below are for the exhaust. And uh, you know this uh, this engine has dual piston valves, so one set of piston valves for intake and one for exhaust. Uh, and it's not like a t traditional steam locomotive like our porters that have one valve that handles both. And uh, right here is the, uh, the, the opening for the piston rod and you can see the metallic packing, some of the metallic packing in there. Um, right up there is a hole for the, uh, for the indicator. So when you take an indicator card, that's uh, that's where the uh, you take your steam samples there. And something that's kind of unique to the big stationary engines are these, which are um, manholes, so that you can take that off and look inside the uh, the cylinder without taking the head off. What you don't find on well, you don't find that on steam locomotives very much. If at if at all, but uh, on these big stationary engines, you, you do see see things like that from time to time. So let's see. Looking forward here is the uh, the tail rod support casting and the big mailbox cover over it, and that's where the uh, the tail rod would be. And on the stationary engines, especially the more high quality ones, they would have. Um, tail rods which would keep the weight of the piston and the piston rod off of the bore and uh, keep it from you know wearing into the uh, into the bore because you wanted maximum life out of these things and the little added expense of the tail rod would save you from having to continue to rebore your cylinders so one thing I found and Let's see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see it, probably not. But here is, this is the counter bore. So this is a little bigger in diameter than the cylinder wall itself. And the, the piston would go all the way up to this point and then the ring would um, just end right there where it starts to open up. And, uh, there's a little bit of a uh, of a protrusion right here that shows that the ring would come up just shy and stop and then it made by stopping there it made this little uh, lip so um, we're gonna have to grind that little lip off there no big deal but it shows that there was somewhere however this this lip is even all the way around the bore so um, which is a result of the uh, of the tail rod without the tail rod if you had that lip it would be a little bit more pronounced on the bottom and less so at the top because the uh, the, the piston is starting to you know digging into the bore as, as it goes back and forth so I'll turn back around here for a moment so yeah this uh, 
this uh, um, rust converter, which is basically, you know, they've been on the market for quite a few years. Uh, this is a brand called Black Star, and it's tannic acid, and it's water-based, and it just, I mean, it just goes on really nice. You know, you don't need any surface prep or anything, just kind of take the, the um, loose rust off ahead of time, and once that, uh, you saw, already see it start to turn purple, it'll turn black, and it'll help prevent rust in here until we're ready to uh, go in here and clean this all back out. Um, so, you know, one of our volunteers put me onto this stuff. Now I'm using it on everything because it's, it's, it's great. You know, normally I'd have to come in here and what, smear oil all over this thing and then you got all, all the oil to worry about, you know, cleaning it back out. Here, I mean, it, it's dry and it's a rust preventative and it's not paint so you don't have that thick paint coating. It's just really nice for uh, preservation of metal surfaces. Oh, one last thing is, looking up here, there's a hole up there. Um, so that is a, uh, uh, that's an auxiliary uh, lubrication port. So instead of just your um, uh, cylinder oil going into the steam flow and then being atomized and being carried in with the steam, they also had this little port up there where they could inject the oil directly into the cylinder, which is an added benefit. So, you know, throwing as much oil in here as you can. So, eh, that's kind of neat. All right, everybody. This is a bit uncomfortable. I'm going to get back to work here so I can get out of here. Talk to you later.